Now let me set the record straight. Man has absolutely nothing to do with us having these rights. For God's word says that our flesh dwelleth in our flesh dwelleth no good thing. We have these rights only by the shed blood of Jesus, by his shed blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So we didn't earn them, and as messed up as we were, and still messed up, maybe not as much as before, but still messed up because the Bible says we all sin and come short of the glory of God. We don't deserve these rights. But I'm so glad that one Friday afternoon, about three o'clock over 2,000 years ago, Jesus declared it is finished. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. For while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And surely he got up from the grave on the third day with all power in his hand. Church, this is how we got our rights. In the text, the Apostle Paul writes to the Ephesians and to us today. He makes it clear that God has voluntarily given us his grace, and through his blood, and through the blood of his son, our sins are forgiven. And when we, when we come to him, he looks at us as though we never sinned from the beginning. So we see that we are the children of God. And in the text, that it is God's plan long ago to adopt us as his own children and make us join heirs with Christ. So we have all the rights that Christ had. And unlike our rights according to the law of the land, that's guaranteed by a piece of paper, your blood-bought rights are guaranteed by the Holy Spirit. And it is confirmed in the text for we have heard the truth, the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, that the Holy Spirit is our guarantee that God will do everything that he promised. And you have the assurance that Satan cannot destroy your blood bought rights. Just a few more minutes. Now I realize that sometimes we forget our rights. We forget that our rights were bought with a price. So I bring this message as I bring this message to a close, I want to remind you of your blood bought rights. Number one, you have the blood bought right to be loved by an awesome God who gave the best he had, his only begotten son, to die for you. You have the blood bought right to be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. You have the blood-bought right to have a covenant relationship with Christ, to worship him in spirit and in truth. You have the blood-bought right to speak the word, to preach the word, teach the word, pray the word, and live the word. You have the blood-bought right to live. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. You have the blood-bought right to go back if you left your first love back to the place where you first believed. You don't have to be flying high today and cut down tomorrow. Go back to your first love. You don't have to die. You have the right to come back to the Lord and live because he never left you to start with. You decide to go running off behind what looked good, sounded good, and whatever else. For there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is death. Now, I know you say I have done some bad things in my life, and I, I, I just don't know what God will do. I don't know whether he will save me, whether he loves me. I just don't know. But I tell you, you can be rescued, and instead of getting what you deserve, nothing short of death, for the mess you made of your life, Jesus offers you the gift of eternal life. Hallelujah. You have the blood bought right to be healed, delivered, and set free. For he was wounded for your transgression, bruised for your iniquity, and the chastisement of your peace was upon him. And with his stripes, you are healed. For many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. You have the blood bought right to prosper, grow, and be wealthy spiritually. The Holy Spirit wants you to prosper. Isaiah said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Jesus spoke these same words in Luke 4:18, so the poor don't have to be poor in the most. You have
have the blood-bought right to live life in its full potential, to lend, not to borrow, to be the head, not the tail, to be wealthy, not sick, to have material wealth, yet using keeping it in its proper place. The missionary martyr, Jim Elliott, put it this way. He is no fool who gives up what he cannot keep, material things, to gain what he cannot lose, eternal life. You have the blood-bought right to receive. God's word says the young lions do lack in hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. And the word of God says if you commit your way unto the Lord, trust in him, he shall bring it to pass. For I have seen the young, for I have been young, and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. You have the blood-bought right to have a sound mind, for he shall keep you in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. We have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. You have the blood bought right to soar. Get up. There is no time for you sitting around on the dock of the bay watching the clouds roll away. Get on up from there. You have your work to do, and God has your destiny already in place. Get up and spread your wings. Move out into the deep and be all that God has meant you for you to be. For I have not seen and no ear has heard. No mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. And the psalmist picked it up and said, I had fainted had not I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You have the blood bought right to stand and hang on in there and declare that quitting is not an option. Yes, you have been through. You're still going through. Trouble on every hand and side. But my brethren, be ye steadfast unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You do not be weary in well-doing, for in due season you're going to reap if you faint not. Yes, the storms will come and the winds will blow, but life is not just about how to survive the storm. It's about how you dance in the rain. And you can rest assured that weeping may endure for a night, but I declare unto you, joy, go, hallelujah, joy going to come in the morning. You have the blood bought right to speak over your life and declare that great is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Therefore, I will do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. For I am more than a conqueror through him that loved me. You have the blood bought right to hang on in there. Love the Lord your God all with all your heart. You have the right to decree, to declare and decree that all things are going to work together for your good. Because you love him. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You have the right to decree and declare that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. You have the right to decree and declare that you're going to walk by faith and not by sight. You have the right to decree and declare that I'm going to live for him all I know how to do. He is my Lord and he is my Savior. You have the right to call those things that are not as though they were. Worshiping him in spirit and in truth. You have the right. You have the right. Stand. Stand. Because you got the right to do that. Hallelujah. Stand and be counted. Stand and be counted, and you'll see. You'll end up getting well you didn't dig. You'll end up getting well. You don't know where it came from. People just walk up to you and say, here, here this is. Hallelujah. You got the right. You got the right. God gave it to you through his son. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And you're living beneath your purpose. You're living beneath your everything that God has for you, you're living beneath that. When you, don't, when you don't exercise your right, when you got that feeling in you for some reason, I'm not good enough, you are good enough, he gave you the right. Hallelujah. Yes, he did, yes, he did.
just nobody tell you you ain't good enough. You like you can't do this, you can't do that. They don't have no say over your life. They don't know the God you serve. And they sure don't know what he can do. But I declare unto you, stand on your rights. Stand on your rights. Don't let nobody take from you what God has already put in place for you. He suffered, he bled, he died. He gave his life for your rights. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Without his shed blood, we would have no rights. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, glory, thank you. We got rights, y'all. Man didn't give them. And guess what? Man can't take them away. Is there anybody glad about it? Anybody glad about it? Hallelujah. You can't take them because you didn't give them. Hallelujah. I know you'd like to, but it ain't yours to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can't take nothing God's going to give me. I just thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The only way it don't work in my life is that I don't let it work. You can't do that to me. I can mess it up, but you can't because he gave it to me. Hallelujah. Work all you know how to work, but you can't take it. Hallelujah. And I ain't finna give it to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He went through too much. He suffered. He bled. He died. Hallelujah. So I could have rights. You could have rights. You could have rights. And we owe it all to him. Don't ever get the big head. He doing all this for you. He's helping you to go through your, do whatever you need to do. Or you just do it. Oh, it ain't you. It, I know that ain't good. Thing. It ain't you. It is him. He already set it in place. Your destiny was already set in place. Before you were born, he knew you. I, I know the plan I had you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's how, that's how we can, because of our blood for the rights, that's how we can sometimes when a whole bunch of things start happening. That's why we can live in the dungeon, but we can testify through the clouds. Because we know what he told us. We know what he did. We know what he went through. He did it all for us. He did it all for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We ain't going to stay in that dungeon long either. Because the more, the more we call on him, the more we lift him up, the more we give him praise, the more he going to bless us because he inhabits the praises of his people. He gets joy out of us praising him. Hallelujah, because he lets him know. We appreciate. We appreciate what he's doing for us. And he gets joy out of that. And I don't know about you, but I want to praise him with every breath I got in me. Because I know it is because of him that I live, move, and have my being. It is because of him that I'm standing here right now. Because I got sense enough to know. Pastor, I got sense enough to know. I got sense enough to know if he don't breathe in, I don't breathe out. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Thank you, thank you. Woo, 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 woo. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, glory, glory. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, glory. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Woo. Hey. 
y'all got rights, y'all. Exercise your rights in Christ Jesus. Because he didn't just give them to you to sit down and say, I got them. He gave them to you for you to use. Everything that he put in us, he put it in us for a reason. We're not to just sit down and, and just gloat over what we got. Oh, I, oh, I. no. We ought to make disciples. We ought to go. He, he. Go ye therefore and do what? All nations. That is the great commission. Every one of us. He put that in every one of us. And then he backed it up when he gave us all these rights that he got. He backed it up. So we can't say we can't go out because he's going to fix that. He already fixed that. He didn't tell us to go and then didn't equip us to go. He already fixed that. We don't have no excuse. We don't have no excuse. He is not pleased when we sit down and don't exercise these rights that he suffered, bled, and died and gave his blood for us. Y'all know what I'm saying. He is not pleased. He is not pleased. I'm going to set myself down. Y'all be blessed.